Hi, today I'd like to show you some watercolours I got from a antique centre in House of Essex. They're miniatures, as you can see by this. That's my phone case, and that is the picture. So they're quite small. Watercolours by a person called Peter Heyman, who was born in 1930s in Uxbridge, Middlesex, England. He trained as an architect and then he went on to become, 1969, started to do paintings and watercolours. And he was an illustrator for a number of bird books. So he was quite into birds. So this one, you can see the amount of detail. Just get, look into that pheasant how small it is and yet the detail and all this and there you can see the signature and you've got these trees in the winter winter trees and they've just got the ivy on it so you've got a bit of green in the ivy but there's no leaves now and you've got the odd bird there and the beautiful and then you've got somebody looks like a farmer or something with his dog and a gun it must have taken ages trying to paint these. And yet I got these quite cheaply about, I think they were about 47 pounds each. When you think the amount of work that's gone into these, they are amazing. And you can go into places like Next and other homeware scores and you can look at their prints and for a nice print, you're talking about 70 or 80 pounds. And yet you've got these amazing works of art that you can get for a fraction of that price. Right, that one is the present. The next one we got is a very English country scene. you got church in the background there with a bird going past and an old barn again you've got the signature not sure if that is water or it, it might be a water because it could well be a little duck that's not floating on the water there and again you've got these trees very similar style with the ivy little flock of birds just floating away again you can see from this it's quite a miniature but very beautifully made there's another man there maybe the chickens or something down there the beautiful colors got that sort of sunset or the end of the day You've got the grey mist, and you've got that ready end of the sun. And this is the other one, which is maybe more like what he used to do, because it's, again, you can see the size of it against the thing. And we've got a little robin. There he is. And his feet wrapped round the branches. And there's a bit of ivy. I hate ivy because it's... I'm always digging it out from my garden. But it does look nice in these pictures. And again, you've got that, that type of tree. Again, you've got that sunset sort of feeling about it. And lovely little robin. I have a little robin that follows me in the garden. He's always very close. As soon as I get out there, he's expecting me to do some digging and rooting around in the undergrowth and disturbing loads of grubs that he can then pop down and eat. It's a very beautiful illustration. So I hope this helps you think about going to car boot sales, 
charity shops, auctions, because even in auctions I've, I've picked up a number of quite nice pictures quite cheaply compared with what you would pay in a shop. Sometimes they're bound together, especially if it's not a known artist, they'll lump 20 odd pictures together. There might be three or four you like and that are worth having. And the rest you can give away to charity or something like that. And you can get, you know, they, they might sell them for about 20 quid. It's just amazing the amount of work that these people put into these things and the amount of money you can get from them. Right. I hope you enjoyed this and um, you'll go out there and start looking at art and picking up pictures in charity shops and stuff like that and seeing if you can find some really nice pictures. Uh, uh, please uh, give it a like and um, subscribe if you haven't. It all helps to bring more people into looking at the, my stuff uh, and also to look at other stuff I've produced. It's quite a lot of different genres and ideas, bits and pieces, which I hope will help or be interested for a number of different people. So thank you very much for looking and I hope you find some nice pieces of art. Thank you. Bye.